Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome back to my mobile gaming quest where today we are playing Chopper, which is a fun and challenging indie game by the Finny studio Parta Games. And it's a great pixel take on the helicopter rescue games that were super popular back in the browser gaming days. And so you guys know me, of course I had to play it because I spent far too many hours playing browser games and Chopper is a pretty great throwback to those types of games. So in Chopper, our goal is to get through as many physics-based, procedurally generated levels as we rock it out to the sweet, sweet rock and roll 80s soundtrack that this game offers. Seriously guys, play this game with headsets on, that's what I'm doing right now. If I sound a bit hyped about this game, it's because I kinda am, and the soundtrack is just making this all so much better. Anyway, we have to save the people, of course. I forgot to say, but of course, <laughs> that's the goal after all. We're not here to rock it out to 80s soundtracks, even though that would be more than enough. I'd love to fly around in epic helicopters and listening to this soundtrack over and over again. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up about it now. I realize many of you guys don't even play with music on, so we gotta save people. There's one person to save in every single level, and we have to avoid cranes, seagulls, and even oil pipes turned into flamethrowers. And then between levels, when we eventually die, we can choose to upgrade our helicopter, and we can also even buy new helicopters, of course. There were the seagulls. We avoided them successfully, and now we're gonna go down for a slow landing. Come up here. No, oh, oh, <laughs> it was so close to fall into the water. But look at this, we're doing all right. We just have to avoid the seagull. No, seagull, get away from here. We took one damage, but that's okay though. We just have to avoid the drone. We have two more shields because we upgraded our chopper. And I think very soon we might even have enough to buy a new chopper as well. Stage three completed. We have 144 gold and now we're ready for stage four instead, which I think is gonna give us four gold if we complete it. I think that's how it works in this game. No, these seagulls get me every single time. Get down there, seagull, avoid the crane. We can do this, avoid the volcano. Yes, so far so good. Avoid the flamethrower up there and somehow get that guy. Okay, I see what we have to do. Look at this. This is what I meant by physics-based puzzles. Look at this, guys. Okay, we can do this. Oh, come on, no. We lost one HP there and, oh, that was close. We gotta somehow bump into this one and then have him catch it. This is too intense. We can do this. Oh, see, that's exactly what we had to do. We were just a bit too far away. Come on, do we really have to go in and upgrade our ropes? No, we don't. There we go. Look at this. Over the volcano we go. Over the crane. Avoiding, well, I mean, any potential seagulls. We are on fire here. Literally, our chopper is on fire, but we made it to the safe zone. Look at that. And stage four has been completed as well. Let's go for stage five, and then I want to show you guys all the new choppers that we can get. But first, though, look at that. It looks to be a missile, a rocket launcher. And it's firing at us. For some reason, ah, the seagull again every single time. The seagulls, <laughs> they're so aggressive. And look, they don't even die when they fall into the waters. But we're better than that, though. Oh, by the way, guys, I gotta show you this. Come on, little guy, get down into the water. <laughs> look at that. If you play this game with audio on, be sure to try to drown one of you guys. It's, uh, don't worry, you, you don't actually drown them. That sounded so wrong. You don't actually drown them, but try throwing them into the water. It sounds, it sounds so fun. The sound effects uh, in this game, the voiceovers. Uh, they, it's all just amazing. Look at us avoiding a missile in true Rambo style. Here we go, saving yet another person. We are the hero of the day, aren't we? And with these 153 gold pieces, we're now gonna go have a look at what we can upgrade. So sadly, we're not gonna be saving any more people right now, but we are going to have a look at these new choppers. They cost 300 gold. We don't have that though. What about the next ones? I imagine they get pretty expensive. 1,000, 1,500, 1,000, 2,000 and 10,000 for the golden boy, which I think also acts as a coin doppler though. So I get why that one would be very expensive. Now we can of course also buy these new helicopters immediately by spending between $1 and it looks like about five or $6 or so on the game, maybe up to nine US dollars or so for the most expensive ones. So what we are gonna do instead is we're gonna upgrade the starter helicopter. We could choose to upgrade our armor, but I feel like we have to make the ropes a bit longer first. So let's do that, upgrading those completely. Let's upgrade the engine a tiny bit. Let's get one more armor, some more engine power. And for this last one, how about more engine power? <laughs> Just one more engine power. Now, if this oil rig or the desert mode that we can unlock for 200 gold gets too repetitive, it becomes too boring, there's always the survival mode, which is all too hardcore for me, but of course I'm still gonna show it to you guys. The controls, by the way, work really well in this game, but you have to switch over to this joystick mode. I tried playing at first with the normal mode and I did not like it. 
it just didn't feel very nice. I don't know about you guys. Oh, look at that. We actually did a somersault. That's nice. But as I was saying, you have to switch to this joystick in the settings. But if you do that, the controls are going to be no issue. They're going to be very enjoyable. But the standard control setup is kind of wacky, kind of out there. At least that's my experience of it. The rest of the game, though, is absolutely amazing. You are going to be shown some video advertisements every now and again. But luckily, the game can be played offline. I really wish that we'd be able to buy some sort of inner purchase to remove the advertisements. But sadly, that just isn't the case. And look at us go surviving 52 seconds in the survival mode, which I think gave us no gold at all. <laughs> Is that it? No gold at all, but we could luckily get uh, a free gift, which we can do every single hour. So that's a great incentive to get back into the game. And if you want to check it out for yourself, of course, as always, the download links for both Android and iOS can be found in the description box down below. Let me know what you think about this game. I think it's an amazing game, offline playable, tons of choppers to unlock. The maps are always different because they randomly generate it. And it even supports, and this is something I really like to see, the extra wide screens found on newer Android and iPhone devices which is pretty rare for these types of casual games. Typically, the developers don't want to support different screen sizes. But in this case, the developers did actually go through the effort of updating the game to support these new screen sizes. So thank you very much for that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And now it's time for the mobile gaming news of the day. Which is that Clash of Clans recently introduced what they call the Gold Pass, which is basically, I guess, like Fortnite Battle Pass, but just for Clash of Clans instead. And now just one month after the introduction of the Gold Pass, Clash of Clans revenue has jumped 72% in comparison to last month. Which in other words means that the game earned $71 million last month, making May 1st, 2019 the highest earning day for the game ever since Christmas 2015. And for those wondering, the game has apparently earned $6 billion dollars in total globally throughout the years. Not bad for such an old game. And with that said, let's end this thing for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that I'll see you back tomorrow again. So until next time, just remember to keep gaming, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys around. <laughs>